Welcome back YouTube, wie ist die hier, wer ist bis dich? One half, äh, ne. Bye. Die kostet nicht. Welcome back YouTube, wie ist die hier, wer ist bis dich? Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra Exynos 2200 One Hand Operation Plus, alright? New version, proper change lock, you know, I am celebrating every time Samsung are putting up new software, being it stock up updates or firmware and there is a change log i feel happy what is new this time in the one hand operation plus which is probably one of the most used modules from good luck together with the home app and you can check my 1000 video about good luck what it is how can you use it to your advantage to really get in the control for your phone version 5331 this version has been released very soon actually two days ago three days ago on the 9th of june only five megabytes they added a new feature guys and this time it's the widgets pop-up also support for one ui 4.1.1 which is android 12 l and that's a huge thing for tablets i guess and the favorite one of all of the change logs bug fixes and stability improvements i'm very eager to see what this widget pop-up is so i'm gonna hit the install button while i'm installing this you might want to consider subscribing for my channel help me grow the more i grow the better i feel and hopefully we can just be together i'm doing videos you liking them no nope. of course that's a joke maybe you don't like them anyway if you decide to subscribe this will be really awesome Up that installed i'm gonna directly open it try to get my hands on this widget pop-up so i'm not gonna do an in-depth review on the one hand operation plus you can probably check the videos there i'm gonna start with my setup these handles here are way too big so i'm going to minimize the touch width and also of course the size of course you can also change the position let's put them there how can you access this new feature very easy guys left handle right handle a lot of actions i'm gonna click on the right handle and i'm gonna change choose this diagonal up so now if i do like this i'm gonna go to the recent menu i don't want to have this instead i'm gonna click and scroll down to try to find this new feature so widgets pop up okay now once that's done guys i'm gonna exit my phone how can i activate this i'm gonna do like this and then go to the diagonal touch and hold to add a widget so okay i'm gonna touch and hold so widgets pop up here for your viewing pleasure you can add a page you can add a widget you can use also settings to change the pop-up size let's explore the first one add a page all right touch and hold add a page one more time add a page see what happens guys i now have a plenty of pages here so let me just try to add a widget that i'm gonna use guys here at widget and let's say that for this i want to use the aqua weather so let's go for that one all right i'm gonna create a widget right now Okay, that's good. I added the AccuWeather. Let me just try to go and see. Oh, it's there. And yeah, I have several pages. All right, I just want to add more widgets. So I'm gonna add another widget. Let's now go for device scale. Let's go for that one and save, boom. Okay, guys, now we are back on the home screen. How can we get back to it? Of course, with the gesture that I did, boom. I have the weather here. I have my device scale and I have a few more pages. Let me just try to add one more widget here. So this time I'm gonna go for the calendar. So let's just try to go with this. I'm not sure if this will actually fit on the screen, but oh, actually it fit perfectly. Let me just try to access this one more time. I have the weather here. I have here my device care. I can just try to clean some of the memory. And I have here the calendar option so I can add and select some events. And of course, I have a few more pages. So touch and hold. I'm going to add some more widgets. This time I'm going to choose the Spotify. So let me just try to add the Spotify widget. It's there. I'm going to hold and add also another widget and let it be this time the Telegram one. So let's actually add that one. All right. Let's now try to see how this works. On the first page, I have the weather. I have device care. I have here my calendar. Here I have Spotify and I have Telegram. And this is really guys unique because right now, even with the smart widgets, we were not able to have this functionality. So clicking one more time and choosing the pop-up size, four by one, four by two, four by three, four by four, and four by five. Oh my God, we can really make this huge. All right, that's the other size. And that's kind of like the default size. And now we have also this very small size, which I cannot use right now because I have already some widgets there. What is the beauty of it? You can access this pop-up widget everywhere. So let's say I'm on my home screen. I do like this, boom, I get my pop-up widgets, all right? Let's say I'm here in my drawer. I wanna get access to my pop-up widget. What I do, I do like this, boom, I have it there. Right, so there are really plenty of options and this is why One UI is really 
so powerful. With that said, I really hope that you have liked this video. Please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of my next episodes. We'll see you over and bye. bye.